It is Sunday night, and I'm super tired, because Saturday night, I, th I thought of something. Oh, I thought I was so cute. Oh, I thought I was so special. Um, so I wrote it down on paper. And then, of course, when you write it down on paper, you have to do. So I did. Do you want to see what I did? Do you want to see? It's so stinking pretty. Now, I started it, and I... It was, uh, it's 45 <laughs> plus 10 plus 1. It makes sense when I start doing the the tutorial. Yeah, this is my bedroom. I was like laying here. And the cat, those cat scratches. Um, so, last night I did a thing. And today I had to do a thing. Does that make any sense? And now I'm tired from doing the thing. I'm tired. Bruh. Give me a sec. That's the thing. That's the thing. Do you see the thing? Uh, I don't have my light, so I'm going to do a video tomorrow with light. But I just wanted to do a quick, a quick, a quick, a quick to show you what I did. I did a thing in the parties, and it's so far days. So I had this big Lisa. I had a bunch of it. Well, no, I had three rolls. Three rolls? Three balls of it. And so I did a thing with it. It's in German. It's really cool. I got it from Mary Maxim because you know how much I love the Mary Maxim. 100% polyacryl. 250 grams, 665 meters. I don't even know how many yards, 700 and some. It was a lot. It's about, I'm using three rolls because that's how much I have. Look, I hit this is how much I have left. Just a little deep bit of it. Um, and I'm getting ready to do another. <sighs> Anyhow, isn't it gorgeous? It is so gorgeous. So I did some measurements. I did some measurements, and the measurements are this. These are the measurements. <sighs> It's going to be big. It's going to be big. And it's probably going to take me several days to do. Because my arm is tired. I, you know, I did stuff today. I did. I did. I did stuff today. But I mostly did that. I mostly did that thing today. <laughs> and this is my idea. This is what I had. So, I just had a grandbaby boy. I already have grandbabies. It's, it's cool. And I made them blankets. It's cool. I did that. And I was like... I, I've made a midwife blanket before, call it the midwife blanket, and this was a butterfly one. So listen, I was like, I don't, so I was thinking, well, do I have to, you know, it's like all stacked on top of each other, and they're in like little boxes, and I thought, well, maybe I can leave one of the boxes blank and crochet the whole thing in solid, right? And then I was like, well, do I even need the boxes? What do I need the boxes for? I don't need the boxes. We don't need those stinking boxes here. No boxes. No boxes. We don't need those stinking boxes. And I thought, we don't need those stinking boxes. So I made up a pattern. <laughs> sort of. Right? And um, the idea, the inspiration behind it was called the midwife blanket using the butterfly. The butterfly. Because it's pretty. It's pretty. And so I did a 45. <laughs> Believe it or not, this is what the pattern is. 45 plus 10 plus 1. I did the plus 10 because I needed 5 on the end plus 1 because I need to go up and crochet this. But anyway, this is my math and I'm working with it. It's my math. It's 45 plus 10 plus 1. Which means it's 45 plus 11. But for me, it's 45 plus 10 plus 1. That's how I wrote it. <laughs> and uh, it's working out really, really well. I only had to frog it a couple of times. Not all the way, because I wasn't sure what I was doing, but I got it. I got it. I got it figured out. So this is the measurements, because I'm dumb. Um, so this big Lisa says it's a four, but is it? Is it really? It could be. Um, my my hands in the way. I'm so sorry. My other arm was tired. <laughs> my other arm was tired. I so in doing that, I you can see my window. Stop. I'm trying to get as plain Jane as per permanently possible because you don't even see all that nonsense. You don't. Um, it is 50. 50 inches across. You know that thing's going to stretch. And one ball made 20 inches. So it's going to be 50 by 60. It's going to be big. I was going to say a baby blanket, but no. Mm -mm. Too big for a baby blanket. So I'm going to finish this project up. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. This is the Big Lisa in the cream color. And you'll see it again soon because I'll make a video and I'm going to make a don't look at my window is supposed to be ugly um I'm gonna make a video and a tutorial so if you follow me on my crochet experience with my two whole videos on there um that is my tutorial this is where I do all the tutorials are gonna I can't really say all with two right um 
that's where I'm going to do the tutorials at. and I'll throw some pieces in here at Foster and Crochet as well because I can give jibber jabber. I just love to jibber jabber. Um, and I'm so excited about this blanket. I just had to come and tell you right now. I just had to do it just right this second because it's so dark, dark, beautiful. Anyway, I can't call it, call it a midwife because it isn't. It's just uh, butterfly dreams, butterfly crochet, butterfly something, butterflies, butterflies, beautiful, beautiful butterflies. Hold on a second. I'm going to turn the camera around. So you can see it one more time. You can see the beautiful butterflies. Oh, I'm using a 4.25 hook. That's probably my mistake, too. Could you imagine how much bigger it would have been if I used a bigger hook? Oh, my gosh. But it's so gorgeous. And I don't have any extra light. So you can't really see. How, look. Did I make him? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I'm cussing up a storm. Oh. <sighs> I was just making sure my little stitches are okay. Are my stitches all right? It'll be fine. Don't you look at that. It'll be fine. It's so stinking. Just, oh my God, so beautiful. I love it to bits and pieces. What do you guys think? Do you love it? Do you love it? Tell me you love it. Remember guys, smile big and often. You'll make somebody's day. I promise. You've already made mine. Thanks a lot. Have a good night.